Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create users in Jenkins. Till now, we only have one user, which is admin user, which we have created at the time of installation of Jenkins. Now, generally in uh, Teams, we have different users with different roles. So for example, uh, a software team can have a team lead, which can be uh, admin. Then we have developers, QA guys or testers, or we can have the operations guys or DevOps guys who are responsible for the provisioning and the deployment of the software. So for that, we need to give the credentials to uh, those users so they can log in with their account and then they will be able to configure and build their own jobs. So let's see how we can create users in Jenkins. So just go to the home page of Jenkins and then just click on manage Jenkins. And once this manage Jenkins page opens, just scroll down until you have found the section which is called manage users. So just click on the manage users and you can see there is only one user is there till now. So we will create a new user. To create a new user, you just need to uh, click on create user. And then you just need to give the username of that user. You can say user one and the password of that user. And this password, the user will be able to change later. So you can just provide the initial password here and then uh, just provide the confirmation of the password and then provide the full name of the user for example the user one once again and then provide the email address of the user and then click create user this is going to create the new user let's create one more user so this time this user will be user two and then i'm going to quickly provide the password confirm password and then the full name this will be user 2 for example and then the email id and then create user which is going to create the user so now we have two users so you can see we are logged in with the admin user so let's log out and then let's log in with the user one uh, credentials so just give the username and password of that user and then just log in and now you can see i'm logged in with the user one account now you can uh, see a, a little arrow icon here beside the user one name so you just can uh, click on that and just click on the configure option and once you click on that here you can uh, provide some more configuration option for this user one account so some description, what is his title or what is his job and then API token. So you can see the API token. This we will discuss in the later videos how we can use the API token for the user. But you should know you can find this API token here and then uh, the credentials, the email ID and uh, the password can be changed later from here. So user one can change his password from here and also the SSH public keys. So if this user has to authenticate with his keys, then you can provide the public key here. And if you want some help, you can just uh, click on this uh, question mark and you will be able to see some hint here. So this says list SSH public keys that are associated with the user. These keys can be used, for example, by Jenkins CLI. So Jenkins CLI, we are going to see how we can use Jenkins CLI in the later video. So if you are curious about Jenkins CLI, then we will see it later. So this is how you can provide the configuration for the user in Jenkins. And after the uh, configuration, you can just save the configuration and then uh, the configuration will be saved. Now let me log out once again and let me log in with the admin credentials once again and you can see the admin have the access to view all the project and when i log in with the user 
one account or user two account he also have the access to view all the project here in addition you can see uh, the manage jenkins option for the user one also and when i click on that this user have all the access to change the configuration of the system or change the global security or he have the access to do anything which admin user can do and this can be a problem for example this user one is a developer and he has all the admin rights and this is sometimes not desirable the admin right must lie in the hands of the admin only so for that we have the option to install some plugins and then provide the access to the roles which this user have so we will see how we can uh, install this plugin to assign roles or manage roles or manage users in the next video so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now